what's up YouTube this is Chester from the McPherson Racing YouTube channel I'm here at Coast Auto Care about to install the brackets for my handbrake setup that I got from Drift Headquarters uh, keep in mind this is a sponsored video it's sponsored by Coast Auto Care uh, there's no product sponsors I paid for everything myself and uh, we'll be doing the installation myself uh, the kit from Drift Headquarters installed some Willwood calipers onto the rear spindles now keep in mind boys and girls, this is not an instructional video. This is not a how-to video. This is a hangout while we do video. Uh, you're more than welcome to do this stuff at home. I don't care. Just, uh, you know, I can't take any liability for uh, any bad things that happen to you or your car from doing this yourself. <laughs> hey, so what are we doing today? Uh, right now we're going to do your interview. Nah, car stuff's more fun. Let's like take a look under the skirt, shall we? life under a hard working Camaro looks like. Only minor scrapage on the exhaust, no holes. This is don't ask, don't tell. This is, uh, yeah, war story for another day. Front arm bushings in, front sway bar upgrade, front coilover upgrade, plastic fender in the tire upgrade, as seen here. But hey, you know, stuff happens when you're having fun. Next Cheryl Mo Downey right there. Now on to the uh, business of taking care of business. Notice the hub centric spacers. Brakes definitely well worn. Used heavily. New front skinnies going on. Back blister cranes. Live to see the final days. Uh oh, he's actually working on his own car. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Getting dirty. There we go. That's what you call shaving weight right there. How many pounds is that? One and a half? 150. Almost scratched the rack. Still got ABS. Oh, he's trying to get dirty again. Christmas in July! Oh, and you got the gloves too. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. And you got a mask. Oh my goodness. Dot four, come on, we're up to dot five now. So, how do you make a Ford go fast? Easy. You guessed it. Chevy LS. Angry 6.0. Out with your Ford, in with your Chevy. 
only way you're going to move this F-150. He's headed for the desert. Owner wants horsepower. Owner wants reliability. This is what they look like typically before we swap them. Nice, cleaned up, pretty, waiting for her new home. Out with the old big blocks. Not a big block hater, but hey, if you want to drive it every day, not exactly uh, my cup of tea. My pedders, sway bars and coilovers, energy suspension inserts in my subframe. Let's do this, baby. Yeah, I got some new rotors, new pads. Great bestos. Who knows if it's the best folks, we'll find out. Alright, I got wheels and spacers off. About to start taking the, uh, the calipers off. Gonna have to hang them for something. Don't stress those lines. You know what they always say. Don't stress the line. Don't let a caliper dangle on its own weight. Alright, to get the calipers off, you gotta use this 18mm uh, wrench on these bolts right here. Don't know if you guys can see that because I can't see shit myself. Here it is on the other side. Maybe there's more light. That bolt there, that bolt there, and the caliper falls off. We're going to show you the quickest way to take the rotor off a of Camaro. Step one. Remove the rotor. Back, <laughs> right, America. Putting on uh, one of our clients' drip brake system. That's the point where we're at so far. One thing that I wasn't aware of that I don't really like is so what they're saying on this bracket is this is going to go right back here and you're no longer get to use your parking brake. Um, kind of a problem, not really an ideal situation. Um, not a fan of giving up your parking brake when you drive a stick shift, especially here in California. Um, so we're going to see if there's any way we can work around this and maybe come up with a different bracket, a different game plan. Um, we're not there yet. We're not just going to sacrifice the parking brakes for uh, having fun with drifting because we're not drifting, you know, the car's a daily driver. So we still need to have that functionality and rationality. And, you know, San Francisco and San Diego downtown have some pretty steep hills and we're not that far away from them. So car's still used for partying, car's still used for having fun, but don't know if we want to sacrifice the uh, parking brakes. So stay tuned, America, and we'll let you know. Shiny new brake rotors. Chicka chicka wow! Uh, any comments for the camera since you're actually uh, cleaning everything now? Get the grease up in the tub. One of the many benefits of having a shop to do your work in, ladies and gentlemen, you actually get to clean as you go. Thank you for the sponsor, Jason. No, you're not. We're supposed to keep it PG. But who knows nowadays? F bombs are probably considered uh, offensive to everyone over the age over the age of eight. Oh, that's true. It used to stand for Freedom America. Now it stands for something else. And don't you wish you could do dishes this easy? Here's where we're at in America. Full right side of the car blown apart. We'll get this uh, little nastiness cleaned up. A little wire brush action. You know, might as well make it look good. And a little bit of tire rubber, but you know, who's counting? And we'll continue this right when, uh, right when he gets back over here and gets to work. Ready to start a final assembly for drift brake setup on the Camaro. Still a little nasty. We'll get that all cleaned up, buttered up, make it look like new. Ready for final assembly there, Mr. Percep Professor? Just a dab will do it when it comes to Loctite. You definitely use the Loctite blue, not the red. That's where the new caliper is going to mount. Alan 
one's off work today. Nope, right there. Right there, Daniel saw. Yep, nope, big Allen. What is your left hand for a thousand, Chuck? Your wrong left hand, Chuck. Right. We're talking about the other ones, the big ones right next to you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, what bus was it you rode to school again? <laughs> hey, you would find it another hour. About two more GoPro batteries, by the way. Uh, not quite. There we go. and girls there's uh, zero instructions came with this kit but they were nice enough to give you a couple of pictures on the website and I figure if you're brave enough to put on uh, drift brakes you're brave enough to figure it out on your own well, I reckon there's no disclaimer for ignorance so consider yourself lucky you got a picture Say zero deflection 101. Yeah, any deflection on that, you're pretty much going to uh, do a little etch a sketch on the wheel wood. Let's see, can we even get our WD 40 straw in there? Nope. Yeah, it's about 20,000. And a good day. Yeah, smart money said you'll be shaving that down, any kind of deflection. So you'll know instantly when that bearing's bad. Yep. And it will naturally clear itself. Oh, yes, it slowly will. And not dramatically. Either. No. You got, they give you plenty of material to shave down, so. Parts washer where I showed you. Today's footage brought to you by Coast Auto Care, Oceanside's premier performance shop. Any kind of craziness, tomfoolery, or basic LS swap on your hot rod, or beater, bring it over to Coast Auto Care. Want to put a LT1 TR6060 in your Dukes of Hazard wannabe dually? We can make that happen for you. Need an oil change on the wife's car? Don't prefer to do those, but hey, you know, we do those too. Hey, you found the wire brush. In case you weren't done with that, you probably want to do some of that. Or even better, it would be a little bit of uh, silicone grease so it doesn't rust again. Yes, sir. This is all facilitate the future replacement of the bearing being quicker and easily done. A uh, little bag of tricks. Nah. Silicone grease bubble. NACs makes a mess. Tracks dirt like no tomorrow. But we will get you the uh, 
blooded silicone. Oh yeah, new brake rotors. Brake fluid. Cutting wheels. Silicone grease. song called It's Always Nice Doing It Twice. <laughs> yep. So that's where we're at. Went ahead and made a quick little adjustment on the shocks while we're in there. No better time like the present. You may put the new brake pads on. Both ends. And then we'll find out if that uh, hub bearing with the zero clearance situation with the bolts is uh, good or not. May turn into an, an extended episode after this, after all. What you got there, mister? Breakfast. Particular brand, model, size, or fashion? These are Milkwood. What's the sale here? They engraved them so they thought they were special. I guess that's a step up from the uh, good old. Ink factory. Gotta love those chick quick change uh, brake pads. Yeah, we're gonna use a fresh outer pitch. Yeah. Well, of course. Liabilities, on liabilities, America. Nice 
this little airbag suspension going on this little bad girl. 47 Chevy. If you guessed it. Of course, she's got to have the uh, LS. It's what we do. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now join you with the action already in progress. Suspension looks like on their uh, Camaro. We're fortunate enough to have one. We now join our regularly scheduled program. Already in the way. Yes. Yeah, I wonder why too. Alright guys, I got the brake line on and routed. 